Hey, welcome back everybody. Steve Looney here from graphicdesignertips.com. This is episode number 11 of my new Adobe Illustrator CC 2014 series. I hope you're enjoying it so far. And in this episode, I'm going to be going over the fill and stroke area. Now, this is going to be a relatively quick video and it really is about a simple part of the program, but it's probably one of the very first things I learned back in like, you know, the year 2000 and it's something that you're going to use in every single layout that you do now think of this okay there's two different things there's fill and there's stroke think of the word fill for a second what does it say it's filling something so whether you make a shape uh some kind of illustration or you you know you're doing text the color that you're going to put in that text is something that you're going to fill in the text so that is technically a fill um what a stroke is Think of stroke as like an outline, an outline to whatever you're doing. So if you are doing, uh, you know, a shape, the outline of the shape would technically be the stroke, uh, the outline of the text. Uh, if you make, you know, uh, things with brushes, th those are technically strokes too. All right, so to show you how this actual fill and stroke works, I am going to come up here to a logo that I did for a client of mine and I'm actually gonna pull the tools over here so it's all in one area so we can kinda of know exactly what's going on alright so right here is the logo it's made up of different elements you're gonna notice that there are different colors in certain areas um, and right over here is the fill and stroke area now let's go through this real quick you have this top left square which is the fill that is telling you what color is in the element that you're choosing now if I Click on the on uh, any element of the house right here on the logo. You're going to see, I want you to look over here. These elements are going to change. All right, don't worry about that for now. Um, you're going to see that it's going to change. All right, now this one right here is going to highlight this box. Now with this box on the bottom right is a stroke. Now you can actually toggle between the two by saying, all right, you know, the one you want to work on is obviously the one that's going to be in the foreground. Now you can either click them to get to them or you see in the parentheses, the X, that is the keyboard command shortcut. So just hit it on your keyboard right now. And so you can kind of get used to that. All right. Um, now what you want to do is um, I want to just show you, say we click on this element right here and we come into here into the stroke and we fill it with say green. All right. Now, I just want to make one note. You can fill uh, strokes and fills. You can fill a fill or fill a stroke with a solid color or a gradient. Now, gradients only came about, I think, in like CS4, CS5. And once they came about, it was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Because prior to that, you weren't able, never able to put the gradients on the strokes like you can now. Now, what this is showing is a blue fill with a green stroke. Now, I'm going to make this stroke thicker so you can actually see it appear. All right, now you can see it. Now, say you're looking at this and you go, you know what? I really want to flip the colors. I, I would like the green on the inside and the blue on the outside. Simply what you're going to do is come up to this little swap fill and stroke or shift X on your keyboard and click and you're going to notice exactly what happens. Pretty cool, right? All right, so we're gonna obviously, we're gonna flip back to where we had it. And right off on here on the bottom right is the default fill and stroke. Or if you just hit, at any point, you just hit D on your keyboard, it's gonna go to a white fill with a black stroke. It's it's literally, like I said, it's the default uh, way to do things. So now, yes, yeah, so you can see there's some gradients going on here. In a, a few more videos later in this series, I'm gonna be going over gradients and then I'm gonna be doing a video uh, strictly going over strokes, uh, but this is just for basically to understand the fill in the stroke area. Now, what's cool about this is there are three other options I wanna show you right underneath. You're gonna see a color option, a gradient, and a none. So these options, you're gonna see keyboard command shortcuts. They're all using, they're right by um, at the right side of the keyboard. So you're gonna hit these with your right hand most likely. And you're gonna see that the first is, you know, say, you know, we see we have a gradient in here. Say we hit the first one, okay? It's like a greater than type of symbol. You're gonna notice that it puts a, uh, I'm gonna hit X to get back to the fill. I'm gonna hit that again. It's gonna put whatever color I have selected, which is technically black for now. Um, I can now hit the middle one, which is the gradient. It'll put the gradient that I have at the moment. Um, or you can hit the none, which is the third one to the right, the, the forward slash. So you're gonna see technically 
it turns that to nothing. So I want to show you something real quick. Uh, I'm going to hit X on my keyboard. You're going to notice that we're toggling again, so we're on the stroke. And I want you to hit the none on your keyboard, or you want to click none right here. Okay? We're now going to hit X to get back to the fill, and we're going to hit none again. And what do you think is going to happen? Exactly. It's going to make it disappear because there is nothing in it. You can see there's a shape here, but there's just nothing in it. So again, we can fill this with anything. Um, we can come into the stroke and you know do like a white and it'll, you, know, you can't see it, but it'll offset these two shapes right here. Fill and stroke, you're going to use in every single design that you do. So like I said, it's a very basic tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, definitely, uh, let me know how this series is going for you. Uh, there's a lot more videos coming out, so stay tuned and click the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any of these videos when they come out. And I will see you all for episode number 12 of my new Adobe Illustrator series. Have a great night, everybody. Peace.